Mark Mateschitz is the richest millennial in Europe and the 31st richest person worldwide, yet you've probably never heard of him. In this video, we'll take you on an exclusive tour of his billionaire lifestyle, revealing his net worth, jaw-dropping mansions, multi-billion investments, and the love of his life. Watch to the end to know the multi-billion dollar empire heiress that Mark has smitten. Like, subscribe, and let's get started. First of all, exactly who is Mark Mateschitz? Well, Mark Mateschitz is the only child of late Austrian billionaire Dietrich Mateschitz, known as Didi, who co-founded the energy drink firm Red Bull in 1987. Born in 1993, Mark spent most of his life away from his father's high-profile image. He pursued his education at the University of Applied Sciences in Salzburg and shared his dad's passion for Formula One, often accompanying him to races. Speaking of his dad, let's briefly go over his story. So, Didi Mateschitz, who gained prominence later in life for his passion for motorsports, extreme sports, and football, started his remarkable life as we know it today during a business trip to Thailand during the 1980s. The word is that while on this trip, Didi, who was then employed as a marketing executive at the German company Blendax, encountered a beverage that would go on to achieve global recognition. This transformative elixir was known as Krating Dang, initially developed a decade prior by Talio Udvidya, a former duck farmer turned pharmacist. Didi Mateschitz was so profoundly impressed by its ability to combat jet lag that he struck a deal to promote it internationally. The beverage was carbonated, adorned with the catchy promise of giving you wings, and launched as Red Bull in 1987, revolutionizing the energy drinks market. Red Bull gives you wings. This partnership saw Mr. Mateschitz acquire a 49% stake in the company, catapulting both him and the Uvidia family to extraordinary wealth. Today, this company has over 13,000 employees and branches in 172 countries. And when it comes to the money in 2020, the Uvidia family received 220 million in dividends, while the Austrian entrepreneur received 350 million, a testament to the extraordinary success of the Red Bull venture. Getting back to Mark, at 18, he joined the family's energy drink empire, Red Bull, which sold a staggering 11.6 billion cans worldwide in 2022, as a senior executive focusing on crafting natural energy drinks. However, following his father's passing, Mark decided to step down from his role to focus on becoming a shareholder. This decision, he emphasized, was not made lightly. Mark articulated his rationale in an internal memo stating, I do not believe one should simultaneously hold the positions of an employee and a shareholder within the same company. He expressed his commitment to concentrating solely on his responsibilities as a shareholder, promising to execute this role in a manner that resonated with his personal principles and beliefs. This move marked a pivotal moment in his career, reflecting his dedication to his family's legacy and his vision for the company's future. Now, being his father's only son, the 30-year-old Mark Mateschitz inherited a 49% stake in the energy drink giant in October 2022 when his father passed away. According to Forbes, this puts his net worth at $38.3 billion, making him the world's 31st richest person as of this video's posting. Fun fact, did you know that Mark grew up using the surname Gerharter? He takes the name from his mother, Anita Gerharter, a ski instructor and Austrian native. Mark recently used his father's name only recently. Now that you know who Mark is, let's talk about his lifestyle, starting with his luxury properties. So, Mark inherited an opulent real estate after his father's passing that entails a private Fijian island called Luakala, where crystal clear waters kiss the shores of his secluded paradise. This means he has an entire island retreat to whenever he wants to escape from the hustle and bustle of his business empire. But that's not all. Mark's Austrian roots are reflected in his ownership of castles and villas across his home country, Austria. These historic properties always serve as a testament to his heritage and a window into the past. And if that's not enough, Mark's portfolio also includes a swanky property in London's prestigious Knightsbridge area, valued at an eye-popping $56.4 million. And let's talk just a bit about Knightsbridge. With Harrods Food Hall serving as its neighborhood grocery store and the Mandarin Oriental Hotel Bar as its local watering hole, it's no surprise that Knightsbridge has earned the title of the priciest street in London to purchase a residence. 
Even a simple errand like picking up a carton of milk takes on a luxurious aura when you stroll along this opulent thoroughfare adorned with magnificent embassies, opulent five-star hotels, and upscale boutiques showcasing luxury timepieces and multi-million pound Ferraris. In a recent report by the premier property platform, Biom Knightsbridge, stretching from the corner of Sloan Street to Hyde Park Corner, has been officially crowned as the most expensive residential street in the British capital. According to data from the Land Registry, the average selling price for homes on this street reached a staggering $15.6 million last year, a sum over 33 times greater than the cost of an average home in London. So, let's just say that thanks to this prime piece of real estate, Mark is always a flight away from all the luxury London has to offer. But don't get it twisted, Mark is more than just his father's money. He is quite a business person on his own. That's right, Mark's entrepreneurial spirit saw him venture into the beverage industry in 2018, launching Thalheimer Heilwasser GmbH, a company specializing in soft drinks, water, and beer. This company is noteworthy for its unique approach as it derives its products from water sourced from some of Austria's oldest springs. In fact, many people agree that this commitment to using pristine Austrian spring water adds a touch of authenticity and quality to the beverages produced by Thalheimer Heilwasser. Beyond beverages, Mateschitz also holds an ownership stake in an Austrian property business further diversifying his investment portfolio. This multifaceted approach to business underscores his ability to seize opportunities and expand his wealth in various sectors. If nothing else, it is safe to say that Mark Mateschitz truly exemplifies the modern billionaire with a finger in many lucrative pies. Now, what's with that thing that they say, don't mix business with pleasure, right? Well, that doesn't really apply to Mark because his billion dollar empire extends to sports and entertainment. And here's the story. Even back in his youthful days, Mark had a taste for excitement, often accompanying his father to Formula One races. Little did anyone know that this early exposure to the world of motorsports would shape his future endeavors. Today, as he takes the reins of two Formula One racing teams, Red Bull Racing and Scuderi Alfa Tari, it is clear that he is carrying his father's legacy by making substantial investments into sports sponsorships. But Mattershit's passion for sports doesn't stop at the racetrack. The Red Bull Empire extends its influence to various other athletic domains. For instance, they've got their hands in the game with the German football club RB Leipzig, strengthening their presence in the world of soccer. And it doesn't end there. Red Bull is a major player in numerous extreme sports like cliff diving, surfing, mountain biking, and even ice hockey. That's right. They've got a finger in literally every sports enthusiast pie, supporting athletes and events that push the limits of human potential. And if you thought that was impressive, remember the New York Red Bulls, a Major League Soccer team, and Red Bull Salzburg, an Austrian football team, are also part of Mark Mateschitz's sports and entertainment portfolio. So, yes, it's clear that he's not just a business magnate, he's a sports aficionado with a knack for turning passion into profitable ventures. And when he's not running sports teams and controlling his massive empire, you'll catch him spending time with the lovely heiress, rumored to be his girlfriend. See, thanks to his immense wealth and success, Mark has earned the reputation of being one of Europe's most sought-after bachelors. For this reason, when recent reports emerged linking him romantically to Victoria Swarovski, an heiress to the Swarovski Crystal Empire worth billions, we weren't shocked as much. According to sources, Victoria Swarovski recently announced her separation from her husband, 46-year-old Werner Moers, and she might just have found love in Mark. The Austrian media has been abuzz with sightings of Mateschitz and Swarovski together, notably at the Hanakam races hosted at the picturesque Kitzbühel Ski Resort. However, it's important to note that neither of them has publicly confirmed or denied these romance rumors, keeping their relationship status a well-guarded secret. Now, is Mark Mateschitz's billionaire lifestyle truly one of a kind? Leave a comment below, and if you enjoyed the video, like, share, subscribe, and stay tuned for more similar stories of success and wealth. Bye!